We are here at KTA in Nashua, New Hampshire with Connor Morrill. Connor is making his 145 pound MMA debut Friday night at Combat Zone 74. Connor, great to meet you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. All right, um, yeah, about three years ago, I was just kind of a fat idiot and uh, I didn't really know what I was doing with my life. Um, and uh, yeah, I was really overweight. I was 245 pounds actually. Uh, and I just wanted to change my life. I wanted to do something and uh, I met Walter uh, and I just said like, hey man, like I, I think I want to do this. Like I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before, but I, I think I want to do this. And he just said, trust in me, believe in me, and I will make you whatever you want to be. And so, you know, three years later, 100 pounds down, you know, that's uh, the dream coming true. Yeah, absolutely. That's quite a feat. I mean, 100 pounds, you're competing at like 60% of your natural weight when you started three years ago. That's absolutely insane to me. Um, what has Walter meant to you and uh, with Joey as well? Uh, what have they meant to you um, as, as far as just keeping keeping you active, keeping you um, keeping you in the gym, and keeping this goal in mind that uh, one day you might be able to compete, and that day will be Friday. I mean, honestly, they're they're everything to me. They're brothers, they're fathers, they're uncles. They are mentors, they are friends. They, what they have done, what they have sacrificed for me to be here. I mean, I have, I've done, I've done pads in Joey's garage with him while, you know, his kids are watching us work and he's sacrificed that time for me. I mean, these guys have truly given me everything. So, you know, all I can do is give them exactly that back and hope that, you know, what I've come to put on the table is enough. And I think that they're super proud of me. I think that, uh, I think that the bond that we've grown here uh, is very familial. It's not something that, you know, it's not just, you know, I'll see you Monday. And, you know, we call each other on the weekends. We hang out. We, you know, we tell each other about the, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. And, and we face it all together, you know. We push each other. We push each other. And they push me hard. Yeah. Um, and they know a thing or two about being pushed hard. Walter has fought for Bellator. Oh, yeah. always fought for the UFC. These guys have been around. And what's it mean What's it mean to you to have somebody like that with the experience taking you under their wing and really making sure that your dreams come true? I mean, honestly, I, for me, it's all luck. It's all like... I feel like I woke up one day and I won the lottery. I had these two amazing, these two amazing competitors, these two amazing athletes that are just absolute maniacs. Like they're just, they're some of the best fighters I've ever seen in my my whole life. And uh, and just that they took an investment in me, they took an interest in me, just because you know I just showed them something that they hadn't seen in somebody else. You know, like I feel very lucky because. You know, there's a lot of people out there that want to do this. They want to do what I want to do. And they aren't as lucky to have such, you know, animals in their corner just pushing them forward. Excellent. So, as we spoke, we started this off. This is a combination of a lot of work. Three years, maybe a weight loss goal, or maybe just wanting to get your ass, uh, you know, off the streets. And then, and, and, uh, what what is this going to be when the door locks Friday night? Are you going to be able to enjoy this? Uh, is this going to be, like... Is this the start of something bigger? Um, how, how do you really feel going in there? What's the emotions going to be like? And I know you you haven't done it yet, so you can't really uh, pinpoint emotions. But what are you hoping to get out of this? Honestly, I'm hoping to put on a good show. I know that sounds really weird, but I just I hope the fight isn't too short. I hope that people get to see me do everything that I've been working so hard to show them that I can do. And I hope that this develops into something. My, my end goal is to be, become a professional fighter. Um, you know, UFC, Bellator, One Championship, those are all, they're all dreams. They're all things that I would hope that I can maybe one day get and, uh, and conquer. But, uh, you know, I don't need to be the best in the world. I just need to give it up my best. And however far that takes me, that's good enough for me. I just... For me, it's really something inside that I'm chasing, you know? I, I want to be good at this because I love it and because I like violence, I like fighting. It just makes sense to me. It just, you know, I I think when that door locks, I think that there's going to be a, a flash of emotions. There's going to be a flood of adrenaline. And I think I'm just going to be really excited. I think I'm just going to let loose and I'm just going to let them have it.
All right. This is Travis Lazat again, NewEnglandMMA.org, with Connor Morrill. And he is making his 145 pound amateur debut at Combat Zone 74. A long time in the making. Thank you, Connor. Best of luck Friday night. Thank you.